What's up guys? Legacy 404. We're back working on 38 buggy. I've got some big things planned for this 38 buggy. I just got a lot of parts in the mail. Thanks to quarantine shipping, they pretty much all came at once, but um, you guys are about to see the next few videos. This one is gonna be what we're worried about on the far right. That's the Edelbrock LS1 intake adapter, Edelbrock ABS2, big air scoop, MSD ignition controller, and these are upcoming videos. We got fuel cell, radiator, and wiring. But for this one, we're gonna work on these first. Before we get started installing the new Edelbach Reformer LS1 intake and the carburetor and the box and the accessories, we gotta tear down the old intake off the uh, regular LM7 LS53. So. Intake removed. It's a quick five minutes to remove the intake. It's not hard, it's just all the bolts. So let's talk about this engine. This was a 185,000 mile 2001 LM7 from a Silverado work truck. It is not the most pristine and that is, uh, that is a okay with me. So here's how it looks. Like I said, intake's all off. You know that the intake will cover the cathedral ports, but then like all of this leftover open space is left open to the elements. So there's leaves and acorns in there. Went ahead, shop back all the big stuff out. Next step is going to be cleaning these up even more. So I want a nice clean mating surface so I can mate my gaskets and my intake to the top of the block. Didn't clean off this middle section because so I'll be able to hit it with the greaser when everything's on. So you can go right under, you can go underneath the bottom of that intake. Cleaned around all of the head, all the cylinder head entrances. Cleaned that off as spiffy as I can using a screwdriver, digging at it a little bit softly with paper towel and then get all those big grease marks off. Got all that stuff off, spray clean, spray it down, wipe it down. You can see, you can still see cross hatching the cylinder. Everything turned out well. So, those are the gaskets they're on. I'm gonna go ahead and lay the intake on. Slight modification. My intake manifold does not accept these little notches and grab handles, so all those are coming off. Nice and ground down to perfection. Probably not supposed to use an angle grounder to ground down intake gaskets, but you know, I did. I'm gonna put the intake on now. I think I'm ready after that. Already a debacle, who would have thought? All right, it's dark out, you know. The usual. I'm still out here working though because I don't really need to make that much more sound tonight. I'm just gonna bolt things up and get things mostly waterproof. But as you can tell, intake is on, throttle back is, bracket is on. I did have to reuse the old intake screws and put some spacers in between them just because the old ones fit better with spacers. I got a better fit. I could get an accurate torque reading. I wasn't putting all that torque on one or two threads like the other one because that because of that clearance issue. So old intake bolts are in for those two a little bit of blue loctite in all of them call it a day i went ahead and put the carb space or the carb studs on too because i figured might as well throw the carb on an air cleaner and then just you know be done with this for now but you see those these carb studs are kind of long right yeah we got a two inch spacer not because we want performance or better or more plenum or anything like that but just because i want to be able to see the air intake on the very top of it and you'll see what i'm talking about when i get there So, painted the intake black. It's a new day, obviously. Sun is shining. It's a new day. Painted the intake black. I forgot to take them off my duct tape for the best part of the intake, the uh, good old made in America. So, I guess I should paint that edge by hand, sharpie it in or something, but there she goes. Carburetor's on, big ass air scoops on, you know, sitting looking pretty. Next step's gonna be putting the MSD box on, MSD box on right here on those rubber isolators and wiring it up for now. Everything's gonna be there besides power. Power is gonna come in three videos when I wire this thing up. So next year is gonna be fuel, the year after that's gonna be cooling, and then it's gonna be power and first start. So 
stay tuned for that, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the MSD box on and do everything else and get everything prepped and ready to go. I'm gonna walk you guys through as I go. I've got the first harness for the box plugged in, tied it up. I grounded the engine block and all the three ground wires, one ground wire, ground wire for each head and then one ground wire for the LSD box. MS LSD, whoa, different times. One ground wire for the MSD box. Ground that into the firewall, easy enough. I'm gonna, I've got the second harness wired in. I just need to attach the camshaft and crankshaft sensors. All right guys, that's where I'm gonna cut it right now for the Edelbrock Reformer LS1 intake to put a carburetor onto an LS. This is a 5.3 and the MSD box to go with it. There's gonna be a part two of this video. Don't worry, I know this one's kind of cut short, kind of cut super short and it's just kind of quick little tease, but there will be a part two. Part two is gonna have actually running the power wire, running the tack wire and completing all the gauges in the car so part two is going to be the running part of this but it also it'll be kind of contributed all to the, the next stage of this so i know this was a quick one guys but i mean what can i say i'm just really ecstatic about the look i'm going to paint that front assembly black if i don't replace it so we're getting there we are making progress in the right direction on this one so up next is going to be fuel cell then it's going to be cooling got a rear mounted radiator a whole setup for that sitting over there and then uh, a few more small things and then wiring and then then we're running we're running in place because i still need to do brakes and drive shafts but we are running so i will be back next time guys with a quick little update on the fuel cooling